Welcome to Doc's Lab and our second Master Series. Welcome to Doc's Lab and our second master series. I do believe this is the 98th video in our second master series, the 47th video in basic processors, the 10th video in sculpting processors, and this video we want to discuss masking. Well, basically masking and blending. In this segment, it is very important, so you have to excuse me while I look at my notes a little bit. This will be a real short video, but you really have to keep in mind a couple different things. First of all, as you do these things, things that are out front more in the mix are going to be more noticeable. So really keep that in mind. Things that back farther in the mix will get masked and blended into the mix. So sometimes you're trying to do, you know, like analog warmth kind of sound. That's what you're trying to do. And sometimes you're trying to sound sculpt and it can get masked and blended in there. So you really need to think about that as you're going through the process. And the other thing we wanted to talk about is that, you know, the problem with, you know, while well, you're doing the stages. Now, I had recommended with the beginners to do, start with the harmonic work. You're going to do harmonic work, then distortion, then saturation, and then noise until you really get more experienced and more comfortable and confident in what you're doing. In this segment, we're going to start with noise, but you really have to keep in mind that these things are going to mask and blend each other. So after you get done with getting the track all filtered, cleaned up, and done your equalization, you're getting ready to do some sound sculpting on it, that it's going to mask and blend as you go along. It Like let's say you add some harmonic content to it, and then you go to add distortion, well, and then saturation, and then noise. Whether you do it that way or the reverse of that that we're gonna be going through when we do this segment, that they start to mask and blend with each other. So sometimes you gotta kinda bounce around and take into consideration that you may add so much noise you know, for analog warmth and sculpting, but when you add saturation to that, it's gonna blend and mask certain aspects of it. And when you do distortion or harmonic content, it will do the same thing. So you really have to kinda keep that in mind as you go through it, so that as you're kinda going through it, that you keep in mind that it's a work in progress until it's done. So you may add a little bit of harmonic content and then go to distortion, and then go to saturation, and then go to noise, but you may bounce around in there a little bit and realize, oh, I would actually probably should do less of that or more of this or less of that or da 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 as you go through it because that two steps forward, two steps back is really important for you to understand because as they, like if I do some noise on a track and then I add saturation, then I might have thought one thing that all of a sudden my opinion of if what that sounds good or not might change when I start adding saturation in there because it starts masking some of the noise or blending together with it so it's not coming out how I thought. Does that make sense? I'm going, oh, I thought that would really sound good. Now it's not really sounding as good as that because I thought when I added this to it that it would change it like that. It's kind of a messed up deal that takes experience and experimentation and practice, but really keep that masking concept, masking and blending concept in your head so that as you go through this, when you're going through the stages and process itself, that's one aspect of it. And to really keep that in mind that you might bounce around a lot in that until you really get proficient and become a master at utilizing the things we're talking about. And also when you start doing that single track and then the subgroups and the whole mix, that you're going to go back and be refining stuff. 
So you really have to keep in mind of understanding that that is a process that you're going to really have to have patience with because as you go through that whole process that you're more than likely a lot of times going to change your mind on things as you start, you know, go through the stages of these processors and when you go through the stages of mixing single tracks, subgroups and the whole mix that you're going to go, oh, wow, you know, maybe maybe I need to add more or less of this or that or the other thing or da 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 to make that really sound good and really work on your acute listening and your critical listening skills to really hone yourself in that, get comfortable and confident in your opinion and get really comfortable in being able to really critically listen to what you're doing to go back and make things better as you progress through the process. So really keep that in mind because that masking blending thing is going to be monumental for you to really be keeping in mind as you go through this because of how delicate the work is. Sometimes things will be farther back in the mix, sometimes things will be way up front, but either way that as you start mixing and blending and adding these processes to these things, that it, you're changing basically the sound of the whole mix, you know, and every time you do anything to any track of any things we're talking about, it's going to change what's happening and you have to really sit down and think about what's going to happen there and then maybe go back later on as you go through the process and readjust things because you keep that in mind that masking that blending thing are really going to be important as you go through the process so you don't get frustrated going well i don't know you know do as good a job as you can be real comfortable confident but don't be afraid to go nope now that i'm starting to mix this subgroup together i know i need to go back to this violin or this guitar guitar or whatever and change it a little bit because it's not really going going as well as I thought now to go back and refine it a little bit don't be afraid of that just as you get better you won't turn into that dime to the mixing in front of the mixing board thing but you will go through that process more than likely to achieve the type of work you're trying to do becoming a next level master audio engineer so keep that in mind Peace, soap, love. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.